വെൽക്കം ടു എ ടി സി എം ടുഡേ വി ഗോണ ഡിസ്കസ് എ കേസ് അബൌട്ട് വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് മെയിൽ ഹു കെയിം ടു അവർ ഇയർ വിത്ത് കംപ്ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഐ പെയിൻ ഫീവർ ആൾട്ടൈഡ് സെൻസോറിയം ആൻഡ് അബ്ഡോണൽ ഡിസ്റ്റൻഷൻ സോ ഷാൽ ബി ബിഗിൻ സർ ഓൺ ഇനീഷ്യൽ അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് വാസ് കോൺഷ്യസ് ഓറിയൻറ്റ് വാസ് ആൻഡ് ഒബെയിങ് കമാൻഡ് ഇനീഷ്യലി സോ ഇൻ പ്രൈമറി സർവേ എയർവേ വാസ് പെയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് നോ പൂളിംഗ് ഓഫ് സെക്രീഷൻസ് ഓർ നോ നോർമൽ എയർവേ സൗണ്ട്സ് വാസ് നോട്ട് patient was able to talk normally and was able to complete one full sentence okay. in the breathing but uh, oscillation chest was clear with bilateral equal air entry and uh, uh, he had respiratory rate of 20 per minute and saturation of 96 percentage in room air okay. in circulation uh, uh, good peripheral pulses were noted and uh, bp of 160 over 90 mm hg with the pulse rate of 105 per minute okay. in disability wise gcs was full with the pupils uh, 2.5 mm equally react um, Uh, means uh, reactive but uh, there was some ab- abnormality in the uh, s- uh, vision and also okay. he was uh, some haziness was seen okay. and uh, he was having a pain severe pain uh, or say pain score of 7 out of 10 in the eyes eyes eye pain was the most thing okay so initially uh, we given uh, him uh, ingestion uh, paracetamol mm-hmm. and uh, his pain was not subsiding okay. and uh, we went on with the ingestion fentanyl okay. following it okay and in a special case temperature was normal sir okay sir in adjunct to primary survey his drbs was 166 mg per deciliter and abg wise his uh, ph was 7.47 with pco2 of uh, 35 and bicarb of two, uh, 25 point vbg okay. vbg was taken sir okay and the lactate of 2.6 and bilirubin was 7 okay any abnormality in the abg uh, sir uh, abg is showing um, is slightly to a slightly to a alkalotic stage sir alkalosis alkalosis right. you have lactate uh, slightly higher lactate hmm. but uh, this does not correlate with the ph value ph value so lactic acid dose we cannot think but slightly towards uh, 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 alkalotic side okay. yeah and the bilirubin of 7 bilirubin sir. was 7 uh, and uh, in iso it was was not okay. sir in ecg wise sinus tachycardia was noted sir but uh, no other uh, st significant stt changes was okay. noted okay. in coming to the secondary survey sir uh, the uh, history is that uh, he was a uh, uh, 51 year old male who was admitted in outside hospital with fever abdominal pain altitude sensory mm-hmm. he was uh, in that hospital he was found with drowsy and with hyperkalemia oliguria and uh, abg was showing severe metabolic acidosis oh. and was uh, started on hemodialysis oh. and uh, uh, routine blood cultures were uh, sent from their side and uh, which was showing mdr klebsiella pneumonia oh. and was treated with uh, volemixin and meropenem okay and mdr klebsiella pneumonia uh, did you see the culture report yes sir is it esbl positive oh. that is very important uh, mdr klebsiella pneumonia means that may be mm. uh, resistant to multiple antibiotics that's why they have started volemixin and meropenem mm. okay but uh, what is esbl esbl many gram negative bacteria has for tsvl uh, positivity so we should know about that extended mm. spectrum beta lactamase mm. so they are normally resistant to beta lactam antibiotics mm. or they can uh, destroy the beta, beta lactam antibiotics mm. in that case we can uh, directly if uh, the uh, organism is csvl positive then we can go to meropenem or uh, uh, to present tetracycline like that they may not respond to your septriaxone or cefotaxime okay and uh, later on he developed uh, on during the hospital say he developed the left eye pain and uh, from there on said uh, on evaluation they found out he was having endophthalmitis endophthalmitis so what is endophthalmitis so endophthalmitis is the infection of the anterior uh, aqueous and vitreous uh, humor uh, okay. of the eye sir okay okay So, so in past history of uh, previous history of uh, trauma to no, eye no trauma history noted sir no okay. trauma history or any, no any cataract surgery history okay uh, sir um, and uh, there was no any history of any fungal infection okay no, sir. okay he was hyperkalemia in that hospital yes sir so is uh, our uh, lab value shows hyperkalemia no no okay because he has already, already undergone dialysis, dialysis. dialysis. and uh, he is uh, he had a metabo- severe metabolic acidosis there mm. so what may call might have caused the alkalosis Alk- here uh, miss uh, renal uh, either they might have uh, done a dialysis which, uh, which has got a 
alkalotic uh, side of fluid or, or they might have given uh, soda bicarb mm-hmm. both are possible mm-hmm. we don't know many mm-hmm. any sandesh they give soda bicarb for severe acidosis mm-hmm. okay and uh, for past medical history is that he is a known case of uh, decompensated liver disease with the uh, child c status and ckd okay. type 2 diabetes mellitus okay. Okay. and uh, signs and symptoms was that, that uh, he was having altered sensorium on and off with uh, left eye pain for the past four days and fever on and off with chills and rigor oh. and abdominal pain oh. so uh, no allergy history has noted and uh, coming to the next slide sir so in general examination uh, initially the patient was conscious and oriented and uh, pallor was noted itrus was noted and uh, bilateral picking period what are the reasons for pallor here um hb can be no, hb low due to uh, is, uh, renal renal failure, failure. can have erythropoietin deficiency mm. and uh, renal failure sorry anemia no, second one is hemolysis hemolysis third one he has got liver, liver disease. disease that can produce uh, bleed in the uh, stomach mm. okay then uh, itrus was not okay then uh, edema uh, pitting pedal edema was not and also uh, kind of uh, anasarca like of um, Uh, album picture was uh, album well was uh, normal sir. Uh, okay. means a uh, low sir okay uh, and uh, patient's uh, pulse rate was 98 per minute hmm. with the bp of 180 or 80 mmhg and uh, saturation of 96 patient on uh, local examination of left eye eyelid edema was uh, seen with a subcongenital hemorrhage and chemosis okay. so investigations uh, so we sent for the uh, routine investigation which uh, showed that uh, hemoglobin count was 9.4 with a total count of uh, 15600 and crp was elevated to 114 and he was having a procal of 6.4 what is the importance of procal ketone procal uh, procal is a normal normally which is uh, secreted by the thyroid glands which okay. uh, increases during a bacterial infection by which will be produced by the all cells in the okay. body which will uh, which in then uh, signify the how, mo- how much amount of bacterial load is in our body okay. and the uh, platelet count was on the lower side so 30 uh, or cld patient also okay. 30000 was the platelet okay. count and inr was also elevated with 1.75 and aptt of 37.7 potassium of 4.3 was noted mm-hmm. outside they have ha- having hyperkalemia but uh, you have what type of uh, hyponatremia disease is slightly less what type of dilutional dilutional and uh, otpt of 65 uh, and 3.5 okay bilirubin total was 3.2 and direct was 4.9 okay protein was uh, 5.3 and albumin globulin ratio of 2.2 to 3.12 okay so albumin is low no. okay that was the in- initial investigation with okay. 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 chronic liver disease with renal failure with uh, bacterial okay. infection dilution hyponatremia anemia anemia okay, okay. so uh, we done a usg usg was showing the uh, cld features with yeah. mild peri hepatic free fluid collection and uh, bilateral enlarged kidneys okay. and uh, there was also showing some ec- eco- renal ec- ecotical ecogenicity okay. and we so have bilateral uh, enlarged kidneys does this patient have cr of chronic renal failure yes yeah, sir ckd patients normally ckd mm. normally ckd means what chronic renal disease mm-hmm. means it will be Uh, contract contracted kidneys, kidneys. small kidneys mm. due to chronic inflammation mm. scarring and all but in diabetic patients initially diabetic nephropathy there will be enlarged kidneys then later it will become uh, con- uh, uh, small kidneys but in hepatorenal syndrome hepatorenal hrs uh, what is hrs uh, hepatorenal syndrome which uh, in which uh, in uh, cld patients there uh-huh. will be uh, in uh, the uh, failure of the uh, the both the liver and also the in a kidney system will be so because of uh, chronic liver disease cld because of cld there will be selective hyperperfusion of kidneys blood circulation to the kidneys will come down mm-hmm. because of the liver failure that reduced blood supply will produce renal failure actually kidneys mm-hmm. are normal here mm-hmm. a normal kidney kidney is normal but creatinine is elevated mm-hmm. that is hepatorenal syndrome once you remove this problem actually we cannot remove this because it's a chronic C- C- chronic liver disease that we cannot remove it unless until we transplant the liver you cannot remove it mm. so a patient who is having cld who is having renal failure is mostly hepatorenal syndrome and once you transplant the case it will revert but how do you know that it is hepatorenal syndrome mm. how do uh, you know that renal output will be 
Oh, how do you know means uh, it's a diagnosis of exclusion. You exclude mm -hmm. all other conditions. Hypovolemia has to be excluded. Mm -hmm. Infection has to be excluded. So many things has to be excluded. Then if there is no other reason, then only we can call it as hepatorenal mm -hmm. syndrome. Here there is infection. Mm -hmm. And hypoalbuminemia is there. What is the problem of hypoalbuminemia? Uh, what will happen to effective systemic circulation if albumin is low? Reduced. It will be reduced. So, uh, the, that effective uh, circulation can be increased only if you give albumin. albumin. Okay. So, if you give albumin, then improve the circulation of kidneys. If it is reversible, then it is not hepatorenal syndrome. You control the infection. If uh, creatinine is becoming normal, then it is not hepatorenal mm -hmm. syndrome. Apparel renal syndrome will be reversed only by liver transplant. Mm. Okay. And uh, so we also sent the uh, blood cultures which was showing the MDR clepsiella okay. was uh, sensitive to ceftacidin, sir. Okay. Okay. And, uh, so in that case, see, this is you are telling clepsiella pneumonia which is M MDR. Mm. Okay. So MDR means multi drug, drug resistant. resistant. So, so how many antibiotics they will write? So it will be either sensitive or it will be resistant. resistant. Some, one, some may be resistant, some may be sensitive. sensitive. But the, if it is ESVL, what happened is, suppose ESVL septriaxone is there. Septriaxone, they may write it is sensitive. But if it is ESVL, ESVL what is that? It is straight away it is not sensitive. Mm. Okay. Once okay. The, the organism is ESVL, it will not be sensitive to uh, the third generation cephalosporin or penicillin. Mm. We have to go for Extended yes, spectrum beta lactam antibiotic mm -hmm. so that piperacidin tazobactam and meropenem. So, piperacidin tazobactam onwards they will cover this type of bacteria. So, MDR is nothing when we are managing this type of cases. MDR doesn't mean that uh, MDR, whatever we are seeing, MDR means many antibiotics will be sensitive or resistant. If the ESVL is positive, even a sensitive antibiotic can be uh, like useless. Mm. So, we have to be very careful. So, we have to see that report whether it is ESVL positive or negative. Okay. okay. Before uh, blood cultures came out after three days of admission, sir. Uh -huh. But the assistant, he was having the uh, endothelmitis. Okay. We started with the intravitreal injection. Okay. So initially, uh, we were not able to assess the full vision of the patient as he was having on and off altered sensorium. Okay. Uh, so on examination, uh, there was uh, 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 the lid edema and uh, Hepatitis uh, hemorrhage was seen. So, okay. intravitreal injection of initial uh, oricanosol with the uh, vancomycin and uh, uh, ceftacidin was okay. started. So, that's a cocktail therapy. We also cover fungus. Fungus also. Gram positive, gram negative, yeah. both. Okay. And uh, later on, uh, when the blood cultures came, uh, came uh, we stopped, stopped with the oricanosol and okay. uh, continue with the vancomycin and uh, uh, with the ceftacidin and amicacin was also started. Okay, okay. And we have uh, all, also started with the anti coma message as he was ha in a hepatic end of state, uh, which was including uh, the. Uh, what are these anti coma messages? Anti coma means hepatic, hepatic encephalopathy messages. Message. Anti, anti hepatic encephalopathy messages. Message. So, what are these anti-coma measures? So, in anti-coma measures, uh, the patient can have uh, the constipation means uh, GI uh, retention which in, in which increase the uh, ammonia in the body. So, so ammonia had... producing bacteria can be accumulated Inter in the intestine. intestine. They produce ammonia and that will go to the systemic circulation mm -hmm. that bypasses the liver which normally detoxifies the toxin and it will go to the brain that produces hepatic. hepatic. So, ammonia has to be uh, reduced. Mm -hmm. So, what is the best method? Where to reduce ammonia? Ammonia reduction can be done with the um, uh, increased stool means uh, lactulose. lactulose. So lactulose reduces the pH, lactose reduces the ammonia producing organism, lactose increases the stool output. Mm. Okay. So that reduces ammonia normally. Mm. That is the first measure. First right? measure. Then we can uh, give if at all if pa not passing stool enema can be given sir. Lactulose retention enema, enema can, can be given. Third one? Third one. Uh, so uh, we can uh, temporarily antibiotic can be Which started. Antibiotic? Uh, gram we are already giving mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It may also cover, but uh, to sterilize the gut, we have to give something locally that is pifaximin. Uh, pifaximin. pifaximin 400 milligram TID can be given. Mm -hmm. okay. Then uh, any uh, hyperkalemia, uh, if at all, there you had to correct. Hypo, Normally, hypo, hepatic encephalopathy is caused by hypokalemia. hypokalemia. But here the patient is having hyperkalemia, mm -hmm. that is because of the renal, renal failure. failure. Okay. Then uh, avoid any uh, red meat or... Okay, uh, avoid meat. meat. 
Okay, that can increase the ammonia. ammonia. Okay. High protein diet. High protein. Good. But what is inside the stomach which can produce ammonia? Anything inside the stomach? Uh, upper G bleed in bleed. each in then so can. The most important thing is bleed. Hmm. So if there is a bleed and that that itself can produce ammonia in the stomach. Hmm. Okay, that's a protein. So we have to remove it either by putting rails tube and continuous aspiration or endoscopically stop the bleed. Okay. as uh, initially patient uh, did not any had any bleed sir okay okay and we have started with the uh, replacer renal replacement therapy hemodialysis was done okay. after reaching our hospital okay. sir that was the initial manner from our side okay so what happened to the patient so ultimately ultimately patient uh, for further after uh, the treatment the endothelmitis um, continuous uh, uh alternate day injection was given sir okay. uh, and uh, right now the vision over the the infection part of the eye has been reduced okay. and uh, we are stored with the intravertebral injection right okay. now okay. and uh, vision over the uh, we are when uh, so infection has been uh, reduced but the vision is lost, uh, lost sir so one eye vision one eye vision lost. is lost other, other eye is having a 6 by 9 vision okay so that uh, eye only we can preserve yes. okay so what else we can continue we can continue the dialysis because this will become normally uh, this type of patients will go to uh, hepatic renal syndrome once there is hepatic renal syndrome only treatment is liver transplant mm. so without liver transplant we cannot revert back transiently you can give terlipresin albumin it can mm. revert back but continuous reversal is only possible by uh, liver transplantation anything else mm. after okay. other bed cares you have to give in icu yeah. this patient will be continuously bedridden mm. but care has to be given and uh, anything like aparin should be started uh, for dvt as play miss play, play like count was uh, already platelet is low and uh, inr is yes, slightly I, higher so this type of patient may not require uh, 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 this one uh, aparin but aparin. even then there is possibility Possible. because uh, uh, there will be loss of a uh, lot of uh, uh, what is it a coagulation uh, Factors like antithrombin three mm-hmm. and protein C protein S can be reduced. So there is a possibility. If possible, physiotherapy should should be started. Limb physiotherapy. If patient is walking, we have to encourage walking. Mm-hmm. All these measures has to be done. Pro like uh, catheterization. Catheterization done. Is a must because mm-hmm. he is having renal failure. We should know the intake yeah, out uh, clearly. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay.